The NFU Mutual sponsored YFCU Arts Festival has come to the final stage of its heats tonight at Craig Avon Civic Centre. Around 100 members have the opportunity to compete for a place in the final, which will take place at the Waterfront Hall in Belfast. Let's go inside and see how the night turns out. Tonight's heats involved clubs from Newton Hamilton, Trillick, Anna Clone and Maharali and Cologne, following three evenings of heats at Balamani High School. The reward of a place in finals night means a healthy audience of past and present members. Compare for the evening was past president of the YFCU, Wallace Gregg, who kept the audience entertained. We are, as always, indebted to the members, the producers and the adjudicators. Up for grabs this evening are five places at the prestigious gala and the prize of best newcomer. The generous and long-standing support of NFU Mutual is invaluable and they were represented this evening by Niall Montgomery. Um, this evening has been perfect, uh, it's been thoroughly enjoyable thus far. Uh, the two acts uh, have, been, uh, have been great, both individually. Um, it amazes me the artistic license that the, the young farmers of today can put, can put on. And I just think it's great that the, the Young Farmers Fraternity is, is doing something like this and NFU Mutual are proud sponsors of it mm -hmm. and long may it continue. The purpose of this event is to promote drama and musical theatre with the judges testing members in five key areas. Content, production, audience appeal, technical ability and general effect. And for the first time ever, there will be a newcomers award with members from the clubs of Trillick, Money Ray, and Bally Walter. I thought tonight was absolutely fantastic, Anna. Uh, a great showcase of our members' uh, talents and abilities. Um, it's personally my favourite competition within our calendar uh, throughout the year. It's a great way for 12 year old members, right up to 30 year old members, to interact on stage, showcase their singing, acting, dancing abilities. Uh, it gives them such confidence. Um, and then it gives them confidence in every walk of life. They're able to stand and sing on the stage, they're able to do anything. So it's a great way of empowering our members. The YFCU are indebted to its members for their participation and stewarding at events such as these. To finish and to get some final advice for those who didn't participate and are thinking about it next year, we spoke to Roger Dean and Jonathan Ray to get their view on the talent on display during the week. Well, this is my first experience with young farmers in a very, very long time. And I've been just blown away by this week. Um, I think it's one thing to put on a festival that's for community and to you know give young people opportunities and things like that. But what's been really interesting about this is that there's been opportunities for people at all different standards, right from those who are making their first beginnings in the stage and, 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 and in song on the stage as well, uh, right through to those who have been really experienced and competent. And I think it's great that so many have taken that opportunity. I mean, you've had some groups of maybe only 20 people on stage and others that have had maybe three times that. And it's just been, I've been blown away by the variety of the whole thing. I guess, I, I, you know, <laughs> Ten minutes into the first show, we were listening to Horse at India, Cynthia, and and then a few minutes after that, we had uh, what was it? It was, it was something completely different. Ness and Dorma, um, Ness and Dorma yes. I think, was on the same evening. And and where else does that happen? You know, and and that the idea that these young people had the chance to create these shows and then bring them all together and and actually put them on, I just I think that's a fantastic thing. Yeah, I think in terms of the the gala, well, it's about what a month away now. Um, practice <laughs> a lot <laughs> you know um, I mean we gave some advice and hints and tips during the adjudications but all five gala shows are really good shows but with a good month's rehearsal and really hard work behind them the audience will love them when they actually get to see them you know it would be, be a fantastic show I think we're both happy with the fact that we've sent through five groups that are going to really entertain the audiences at the waterfront hall. Absolutely. To get through to the final arts festival it definitely it is absolutely brilliant. Um, the amount of effort that's put in with the club uh, through Johnny Hanna, Stephanie Fulton, uh, every single club member that was involved to get through to the arts festival gala uh, on the 28th of March is absolutely phenomenal. We were overjoyed never heard her name come out being called out first but definitely does it. It is absolutely brilliant.